that uh, she brought up the fluoride thing because now we're getting get into a little fluoride science fiction here. Uh, Aldous Huxley said, ignoring facts do not make them go away. So the big fluoride question is why? Why exactly are they doing this? They are doing all they can to spread fluoride throughout the world. Who benefits from the systematic poisoning of the entire human race? How far down does this rabbit hole go? Many conspiracy theorists point out that this cannot simply be a dental health issue gone awry, nor can this be explained as the fears of massive class action lawsuits for major fluoride producing companies. Could this issue have an otherworldly connection? The Minister of Defense of Canada, Paul Hellyer, has stated that the universe is teeming with intelligent life and that the governments of the world are hiding this fact. Apollo astronaut Ed Edgar Mitchell says the same thing as to over 400 government officials. Yes, there may be aliens and human-alien hybrids, and yes, they are probably here. Some may even be in this very room. The visitors from off-world see us as a bunch of short-sighted, reckless, out-of-control monkeys. We have almost destroyed our planet several times with nuclear weapons over nothing. We fight endlessly over nothing. We're destroying our ecosystem. They feel they have to manage us, call our numbers, control us as any livestock and slaves. Their powers within the realm of mental manipulation and deception are far beyond anything we know. Under the flimsiest of pretexts, they have convinced us to poison our own water supply, to poison our children. They are very good at their job. They will patiently, carefully coax us into our eternal chains. The fluoride is a part of this equation, part of the pacification program. It makes us sick, weak, and feeble-minded. It keeps us from seeing the big picture, and they will use any and all means to keep us docile, distracted, and unaware of their until their plans take final form. A world with no privacy, no freedoms, and no rights, where we toil to produce for export anything that we have that is valuable. This is what they are offering us. It is amazing how the most important topic, the subject that makes all other human concerns shrink into insignificance, has been made taboo within our society to even talk about. Through their control of the media voices, they have made it seem ludicrous to even mention that extraterrestrials could be laying the foundation for the complete and final takeover of this world. We are so afraid to even look down the rabbit hole that we do nothing. We indulge in mindless media and diversions, anything to keep us from waking up to a world that requires us to change everything we think and everything we do. Knowledge is power. It's time to wake up to what their end game is. If they get away with this, there is no second chance. I believe we deserve a chance to show what we can become. We, all humans, are in this together. Wake up and unite. Long live the free human race. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any other public questions?